Hi friends, what are you insecure about? I had an epiphany a few years ago about um, my own kind of self-confidence and I realized that um, I thought of myself as being quite self-confident and I realized that the more honest I really became with myself, the more I realized I had a lot of self-judgment for myself. And I think it's not just me, I think it's, it's all of us. We spend time, so much time, and just kind of naturally, this is, just human beings do that. We compare ourselves to other people. And when we compare ourselves to other people, we compare um, our true selves, all the positive and negatives that we know about ourselves, with the best versions of other people that they present to us. And we walk away feeling um, less, feeling uh, less good and on all the metrics that we care about. And we, we, th we think of ourselves as being less worthy and, and less skilled and um, less good than other people compared to other people. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what kind of fuels this, this insecurity that we all have. Um, and um, I was thinking about that today and I was talking about it and I think maybe there, um, we, maybe that we don't even need to be uh, secure. <laughs> um, maybe um, self acceptance is enough. You know, like we don't. If we become truly confident in ourselves, uh, maybe we're not pushing ourselves that much anymore. But maybe if we just accept ourselves as we are, but also leave some room for that uh, insecurity, for the, some of that edginess that um, makes us try and makes us, yeah, makes us insecure, makes us um, unconfident, but makes us, um, makes us real, makes us human beings, make, uh, makes us f imperfectly perfect, flawed human beings, then that's probably the best way to, to go. Um, so <laughs> I guess if, you, if, if you're feeling insecure, um, know that you, you're just a human being. All of us are feeling insecure. And if you don't feel insecure, then I don't know. I haven't met everybody. <laughs> um, but I think that most people are insecure. And um, maybe you haven't discovered it yet. I thought I was pretty self-confident um, until a few years ago. Um, and, and, and maybe I can recommend trying something like radical honesty. <laughs> um, because when I became kind of more radically honest, I noticed that there was different parts of me that had a lot of self-judgment. And that's how I kind of felt that insecurity coming through. And if those parts of you are, uh, if you're not engaging with them, um, then you, you, you just, I think you, there's a lack of self-awareness. That's what I have experienced for myself, a lack of self-awareness about those different parts and what they were doing because they impact us in some ways. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, what are you insecure about and um, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with the insecurity and, and how do you stop comparing yourself to the best version of other people that they present to you? Um, you know, because it's so easy, isn't it? I mean, like, um, especially on Facebook, we put our, um, you know, our best photos up and the best stuff that we do. And, and of course, other people compare themselves to, to that and, and then feel like less worthy, maybe. And that's also one of the reasons why I do this vlog uh, with one take, without edits, without cuts, without retakes, um, because I, I want it to be real and I don't want it to be overwrought and then create some sort of impossible standard. Um, and also because it's just too much work. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, anyway, insecurity. That's the topic and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.